Hi there, this is Ravi and I will be briefing on Power Center XML pivoting. The agenda would be a description of XML pivoting in Power Center, looking at the use case for which pivoting can be done, a demonstration on how XML pivoting can be done in Power Center Designer tool previewing data to understand the exact nature of data transformation that is involved uh, in the XML pivoting under consideration and a usage limitation. Pivoting literally points to the act of rotation upon a point or a line so essentially we are looking at rotating the data set to read the XML file accordingly. XML involve arbitrary data structures with several multiple occurring elements placed at various hierarchy levels. Now of these there could be multiple occurring elements that change the in their values uh, at a given hierarchy so XML pivoting can be implemented over such elements um, which change their values uh, across their occurrences and depending on the requirement we can choose the re related such multiple occurring element to implement the XML pivoting Consider this XML file wherein the root element is employees and uh, that consists of a multiple occurring element employee. Now the employee consists of last name, a first name and a multiple occurring element again uh, called phone. While attempting to fit this data into a relational database table the most common design involves storing a single record for a given employee. Hence, it would be convenient if we can read this data as a single record instead of uh, three separate records containing the different phone numbers involved. Let's have a look at the implementation. This is the XML source definition that is under consideration. Let's go to XML editor to implement the pivoting for the phone element. As we see the the employee group in turn contains a group called phone which contains the multiple phone occurrences so the idea is to include this phone element into the employee group so that we read it as a single record so the first step would be to remove the phone element from this view which can be done by right clicking it and selecting the delete columns option but in this case as the group contains only a single element this is as good as removing the view itself so let's de uh, delete this view now that the view is deleted we can now add the phone element to this particular employee view depending on the occurrences that we require to be read from the XML file. Let's try to add the phone element to the employee group for which we need to go to the XPath navigator of the same once done we need to select the advanced mode so that we add 
the f multiple occurring phone element as a pivoted column. Now as soon as I add the phone element to the employee group, we see that the X path for this element uh, is defined as phone of 1, which means that while reading, we will be reading only the first phone from the XML file. So if this is enough for reading from an XML file, the exercise ends here, but in case multiple phone elements have to be read, we can add it uh, any number of times so that corresponding data can be read. In this case, we have two more additional numbers, so we will try to add the element two more times so that we have complete data set read. We have added the second phone number as well. And I'll be doing it one more time to add the third third one. Now we see here all the three phone numbers added to the employee group. So I'll save changes and close the XML editor. And we have seen on how to do XML pivoting or a multiple occurring column. Now we'll have a look at how the data would look after pivoting has been done over an element. Selecting the corresponding XML file for the preview would show that the file actually has a last name and the first name which is expected but along with the same we also have all the three phone numbers read in the same single record so this means that we don't have to have any additional data joining transformation like a joiner transformation to join the data sets We have seen how the data looks after performing a pivoting in the next tra transformation. Now we'll have a look at a usage limitation of the same. We'll try to create a target transformation using the same XSG. So I have the XML source definition which I'm trying to convert into a target definition as an XML target. Now we have the same XML transformation as a target instead. We also see all the three pivoted phone elements here. When I try to validate it, I see an error message stating that this definition has pivoted columns. Now the idea behind this exercise is to show that this feature of pivoting is specifically designed for reading from XML, not for writing. So pivoting is not supported for writing an XML file. This ends our discussion on XML pivoting in Power Center. We would love to hear from you on the mentioned channels. Please do give us your feedback so that we can take this forward. Thank you.